stop, he was more beautiful than the moon. Muhammad Rasulullah. This is Muhammad Rasulullah. Anas ibn Malik says, he says, I came out one night, uh, I came out one night that was the full moon night. And I looked at the moon and in the desert understand the moon is, is an awesome sight. It is smooth, it is radiant, it is clear, it is gentle compared to the scorching sun at which they are used to. So the moon was the epitome of beauty. So he says, I came out at a full moon night and I looked at the, at the moon and I saw it beautiful, handsome. So I said, let me go see if the moon is more handsome or my prophet is more handsome. Let me see if that is more beautiful or the prophet is more beautiful. So I went and I saw him standing afar. So I looked at his face and I looked at the moon and I looked at his face and I looked at the moon and I looked at his face and I looked at the moon and he said, Wallahi, he was more handsome than the moon in its entirety. That that is just the look of your Rasul. Aisha radiallahu anha says, I was sewing with the needle. My needle dropped in the dark. I couldn't find it. I said, Ya Rasul, I can't find it. He moved his face close and I swear, out of the radiance of his face, I found my needle. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam was mind bogglingly handsome. But his handsomeness was covered with waqar in Jalal in Hayba. The Sahaba say, when we used to sit at, hi, at his feet, two feelings conflicting would come on the heart. The first one, you wanted to look at him. You wanted to behold the majesty of his face. And when you wanted to look up, shyness used to overtake you, so you used to look down. Amr ibn al-As says, I sat with him many times, but if you ask me to describe his face, I can't describe it. I wouldn't be able to look up to him ijlalan wa ta'zeeman. I couldn't look up at him. And that is why he didn't have the problems that Yusuf alayhi salam had. Because it was difficult to penetrate the awe and the splendor of the Rasul.